In this video, I will show you how to farm the Vera Chain testnet for a five or six figure allocation. And I'm gonna show you the airdrop university method. Free money doesn't get any better than this because with testnets, you're essentially not exposing yourself, you're not exposing your capital at all, like no risk. You're just an early adopter adopting a new technology that may bless you with a sizable allocation of cryptocurrency. I've been a big proponent of airdrop farming because it's a sub niche of crypto where the downside is very limited and the upside is pretty much limitless. So in this video, I will show you how we farm Vera Chain inside of Airdrop University. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we've covered over 130 different projects since March of 2024 alone. So if I've managed to make like four or five videos in the meantime for this YouTube channel, you get the idea of the scale of how much you're missing out on if you're not part of Airdrop University. And so with that said, please enjoy this airdrop tutorial. There are several first steps that we need to take. We'll have to get the Vera chain testnet inside of our uh, Brave wallet or MetaMask, whichever wallet you wanna work with. And then we are gonna request, uh, we need to get the testnet tokens to essentially get going. So first you wanna go to verachain.com. Uh, I love the website, by the way, up only. And first thing you wanna do is just click on faucet right here on the dApps uh, option. We're gonna paste an EVM compatible wallet and paste it here and click on drip tokens. To get the testnet inside of your MetaMask, you wanna go to rto.bex.verachain.com and click on connect with your MetaMask. Click on next, connect. It will ask you to add the Verachain RDO network. So you just click on approve and you switch to that network and voila, you're, you're, you already have it inside of your MetaMask and you can verify it by, by going to the MetaMask selection of, of networks. Okay, now that we have 0.1 Vera inside of our wallet, we go to the DEX and we swap for some honey token and we wait again. How exciting. Transaction success, we now have claimed Vera token and we've swapped portion of it into a honey token. What we want to do next is we want to supply the honey token into a liquidity pool and provide liquidity on the on the testnet. To do that, we just go to we just click on pool up here and we provide liquidity to the honey pool here. Confirm and wait again. Transaction success, incredible. So we've gotten the testnet token, then we swapped it for a different token using their DEX, and then we deposited that token we've swapped into a liquidity pool. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna click on explore and click on honey. And here we're going to mint, we connect our wallet, to go through all the different steps, I will go back to the pool and withdraw the liquidity that I just provided so I can, uh, so I have enough test tokens to show you all the steps. So we click on the pool that we've provided liquidity for, we click on withdraw, we click on 100% and confirm it. On the faucet page, you have the main faucet where you can request 0.1 Vera. If that doesn't work for you, uh, there's four other different providers. Sometimes you can combine and get a little bit more Vera, but otherwise you will be limited to 0.1 Vera testnet token every eight hours. So just keep that in mind. That's why uh, for the purpose of this video, I provided liquidity and now I'm taking it back out. So I have more tokens. So next up, what I wanna do, I wanna click on swap. I'll click on the honey that I have and I will convert it into the SDG USDC, I'll click on max and I'll get the stable coin, click on preview. Same thing as with mainnets, the more smart contracts, the more transactions, essentially the more volume, uh, theoretically as well, all helps you uh, get additional points. Next up, you click on the explore uh, page here. Here on the explore tab, you essentially want to use every possible feature that this testnet offers 
and that includes trading with uh, verbs, which is obviously their play on words of per perpetuals. You can check out the block explorer. And right now we're gonna click on honey. We are going to click on max and we're gonna click on approve and we'll click on mint shortly after. And voila, the transaction still pending. Transaction success, incredible. So next up, we will try the perpetual contracts. We'll click on burps, accept, and we'll start trading. We need to connect our wallet. We are gonna click on max. And we are gonna go long. And so I just ran out of gas, which means I'd have to wait roughly seven hours to get more Vera from the faucet into my wallet again to then finalize the trade. So, so instead, I'll just go through the next step, locking up a certain amount of token. So as the next feature, we have now deposited 10 honey tokens into the vault. And now we want to use the function of essentially borrowing assets. So the next step on this airdrop is to click on explore and you would like to go to Bend, which is a place where you'll be able to supply different assets like Rept ETH or Bitcoin and then borrow honey against it. We are going to supply Rept Bitcoin. What you want to do after that is just, you want to borrow against it. Now, because we're dealing with uh, such small amounts, I'm not sure if it even will allow me to do that. I'm not sure if I have enough Vera to process the, the, the gas, to process the transactions, but I just wanted to sort of show you the steps so that you can do this on your own. If you do not have enough Vera, you wait the eight hours, you request more testnet tokens and then you can finalize all these steps. Again, you can go back throughout the whole video to make sure that you do not miss a step. Uh, okay, so now we've supplied it and now we would like to ideally borrow against, uh, against it. So we wanna click on borrow. And now we've borrowed as well. And that concludes the Bera Chain airdrop tutorial. We've done several steps. The only step I skipped on this uh, in this tutorial was the perp trade because I did not have enough tokens. So if you run into that yourself, just wait additional eight hours or however, however long before you can request more Bera token and then proceed with the rest of the steps that you still didn't finish. I also wanted to add that the Bera Chain project will airdrop 10% of the total supply so it's up for grabs. You're not risking any money doing this. And so I don't see any reason why you shouldn't do this uh, as soon as possible. And there again, that was the tutorial for how to farm Vera Chain Testnet. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please stick around for more content. I've made a bunch of more tutorials like this before. So go give them a watch. If you actually would like to turn it up a notch, head over to airdropuniversity.com. And I hope to see you here in the future again.